the award plaque goes to Ijara County Hospital Masalani. Dada karer garisi, guda hanka untiga, haram rabu gara yoga fanaga wahtara. Dada karer garisi, guda hanka untiga, haram rabu gara yoga fanaga wahtara. Kesi alibun, garab kaga naho, marka lazo gashay hamliyada dugo. Yes, Ali Bun, Garab Kagana, Marakalazo, Shaya, and the other good. Waka Dango, who may be lavay, who shall waha, is salad, Yes, Ali Bun. So our first award this evening goes to the best performing health facility in Imok Mentorship and this is going to be awarded by the CC Health and so that we demonstrate the objectivity with which we selected this facility to receive this award, I will highlight the criteria that was used for its selection. Since the inception of IMOC mentorship in Garissa in April 2020, supported by LSTM, up to March 2022, this facility conducted the highest number of mentorship sessions in Garissa County. The facility had the highest number of participants attending mentorship cumulatively in the county. The facility sustained continuity of health facility mentorship during the period when LSTM was not able to support the tea and mandazis. The facility also sustained continuity of health facility mentorship during the period of COVID-19 pandemic and during the healthcare worker industrial action in 2020 2021. This health facility has demonstrated consistency, institutionalization, and sustainability of IMOC mentorship in the health facility. The award plaque goes to Ijara County Hospital Masalani. Thank you. So, thank you very much. So, I'll proceed to the next award. Uh, the second award, which is going to the best mentor in the in Garissa County, under this award we have two: one uh, recognition for the uh, for a female mentor, and another one for the for a male mentor. This is the criteria that we used to select the two. Since April 2020 to March 2022 is the period we are looking at for this uh, selection. Uh, the period during which LSTM has supported IMOC mentorship in Garissa County. In the male category, this award is going to be uh, given by the health administrator, uh, the director, and this is the description of the winner. He is an, uh, uh, he is an exemplary mentor, experienced, skilled health professional, and expert in maternal and newborn care. He has continued to improve his knowledge and skills through personal development, seminars, and workshops. He demonstrates courage and confidence in his clinical practice. Very hardworking, innovative, responsible, clearly is a mentor to look up to. During an interview with a mentee in his facility, he is commended to be very uh, concerned about his colleagues. And quote, he usually shares with us knowledge and feedback he has learned from workshops. He loves to teach and use says every opportunity to impart knowledge. 
there was a day I requested him to support me on management of PPH. It was a Sunday. It was very, uh, we had very few patients on the ward. And he instantly used the time to mentor me on various management aspects of PPH. He has set up a WhatsApp group for nurses in my hospital where he regularly updates us on EMOC mentorship, scheduled sessions and topics, end of quote, from a mentee. During an interview with a county CHME, uh, CHMT member, he was described to be an all-round staff. He can work anywhere in theater, in maternity, quickly volunteer to help out with no money rewards. He is motivated by what he does in saving lives of mothers and babies. And a quote from the CHMT regarding this mentor, I was there on the day he was employed by Garissa, and surely he has not disappointed. An exemplary leader, leader sorry, of the time, and Garissa, we are lucky to have him. The best male MOC mentor award goes to <laughs> Matthew Dennis Ongoro. Okay, so as we take the photos, I'll also be preparing to read out the female uh, award for the mentor. And this will be awarded by Dr. Charles Ame. Uh, she is a mentor who is not only experienced, but also an expert in the field of practice, very skilled and hardworking. Although she is a manager, she has also been described as very approachable by her colleagues, sacrificial always, ready to give service to mothers and to babies. An interview with one of the mentees is here, quote, I have learned so much from her, both technically and the good attitude towards work. I will never forget a time I was alone on duty because my colleague was sick. I was getting overwhelmed and needed help. My mentor was called from a house to come and assist. Despite that, uh, she had been on night shift in the maternity the previous night. She was woken up from her sleep at 11 a.m. and she came. She covered this day duty for my sick colleague and worked diligently. An interview with the CHMT member confirms that she's very regular on her duties, passionate, has a good relationship with mentees and patients, always willing to go an extra mile and teach, mentor and support her colleagues, but also care for patients. She even used to cook tea and bring to her patients right from her kitchen at home. A respectful, knowledgeable, motivated, and competent mentor she is. The best female mentor award for Garissa goes to Lucy Gakui Wangi. Um, so, so we have just two more awards to make. Uh, these are institutional awards. Um, I'm quite worried that the food is getting cold, so we will cut the speeches down significantly. In fact, I've been given some citations which are one A4. I've reduced it to a quarter. Because every other thing you've heard about it in the morning, we're not going to repeat anything. So the first award will go to... Um, uh, Nursing Council Kenya 
And I'll just read something about Northern Council Kenya. So from 2020 to date, um, uh, the, the Northern Council Kenya is the national nursing and midwifery regulatory body and it has spearheaded improvements in uh, midwifery education in this country, including improvements of the syllabus in Kenya. Um, the pre-service tax force led by the National Ministry of Health comprises of multiple stakeholders and partners centrally coordinated the integration of emergency obstetric and newborn care into the skilled health personnel training curricula. From 2020 to date, all six diploma midwifery related programs and the Bachelor of Science syllabi in Kenya have been updated and integrated with emergency obstetric um, and newborn care skills. This has been done through a multi-stakeholder um, approach. This competence-based midwifery curriculum is a sustainable strategy for competent midwifery graduates who will potentially contribute to achievement of the universal health coverage and m and um, sustainable development goals in Kenya. This award is specially awarded to the National Nursing and Midwifery Regulatory Body that has played a critical role in reviewing and updating their training guidelines. And this is such a um, sustainable approach and is only by you know, good leadership, goodwill, and you know, a structured approach that this has been able to achieve. So this is a partner we are quite proud of. Um, we, we partner with NCK Kenya in so many areas internationally as well. And we're quite proud of the CEO and the leadership. So I'd like to invite um, Marilyn to accept this award on, on, on behalf of uh, um, the council. And then um, who is presenting the award? Yes, Ministry of Health helping us to present the award. Uh, Duncan? Thank you. Now, um, the second institution we're going to award is the Kenya Medical Training College. Now, now, just to tell you, just to give you an idea of the scope and the impact of this um, great institution. So this institution has 70 campuses across the country and contributes to over 80% of the health workforce in Kenya. Um, there have been several investments in the country uh, you know, through the KMTC and these investments, through these investments, the country is safe as we expect, they expect to graduate competent nursing and midwifery and clinical reproductive health um, graduates, meeting international configuration of midwives, competencies and standards. These are key pillars towards the achievement of the universal health coverage and the MNH SDG goals. This award is specially awarded to um, the best mid-level training college that has updated their training guidelines for skilled health personnel meeting international standards and competencies. And this is awarded to the Kenya Medical um, College headquarters, represented by Dr. Lucy Waweru. <laughs> 